welcome to Geeky Now with Melly Mel. I'm Melissa. Today I'm bringing you a closer look at the pin from the third release from the Disney Castle Collection. And this one features Mulan. collection has been really popular since it first released back in April and the very first release featured Cinderella's castle. Now the second release we had was Frozen and now for the third release we have Mulan which coincides with the release of the movie on Disney Plus. Now I am really excited to show you a closer look at this pin and at the end of the video we'll see all the pins we have had so far including the case that Disney released so you can display all of your pins from the collection. So without further ado, let's see this pin. And here we have the pin. In one of the top corners, we see it says three out of 10. It also has the logo for the collection, Disney Castle. Retail price for this pin is $19.99. And here's a look at the card by itself. I love the use red and gold for Mulan. And here we see the back. Again, $19.99 is the retail price. And here we have the pin. I really like the pins from the Disney Castle collection because I feel like they are really nice size. These pins are really big and they are hinged pins. And here we see the back of the pin. It is a golden color. It has the Disney pin trading logo for 2020 on the back and the logo for the Disney Castle collection. And this pin along with all the other items within the collection is a limited release. And here we have a look at the inside of the pin. As you can see, this has been screen printed on the pin and it is full of detail. I mean, you see every single corner inside that castle. You have a pretty clear view of the staircase and you also see the different rooms in the castle. And as we get a little closer, we see some dragon designs on the scrolls that are at the bottom. And here we're seeing the case that Disney released to specifically keep the pins from the Disney Castle Collection. As you can see, this case opens up and it came with this piece of plastic inside that serves as a blueprint as to how to display the pins. So it has a picture or silhouette of each castle. So that's what I've been using so that I know where to place my pins. And here we can see the three pins we have had so far from the collection. first pin we have is the Cinderella castle. As you can see, it's a hinge pin and on the inside we see the inside of the castle. Second pin that was released from this collection was the Frozen castle or the Arendelle castle. And now you can see the inside of the castle as well. And of course, the third pin we are going to see is the Mulan Castle. And this small pin that we see to the side of the Mulan Castle is a free pin that came with the display case. I think that the Mulan castle is really pretty. I feel like you don't really see a lot of Mulan out there and I am really happy they decided to do this pin. Now something that I wanted to point out is not only the size, as you can see, this is about the size of the palm of my hand, but I want to talk about the price. So this specific pin was $19.99, but both the Frozen castle and the Cinderella castle were $29.99. So $20 versus $30. I don't know if it has any 
anything to do with the size. The other pins were a little bigger than this one, or if maybe that's going to be just the ongoing price for the following pins in the set. So I figure it'd be good to talk about that. The difference in the price, you would think that all the items would be the same price consistently as the collection moves along. But then again, I am not sure if the difference in the price is due to the size of the pin compared to the other two we've had, or because that is just going to be the ongoing price for the pins. And since this is a bi-monthly collection, so it comes out every other month, the next castle should be coming out sometime in November, and I believe it would be the Snow White Castle. Pretty excited to see the merchandise for the Snow White Castle. I think that the Snow White Castle is really pretty and I feel like it doesn't really get as much love as some of the other castles. So I'm really excited to see what the designs are going to look like, not only for the pin but also for the ornament because in this collection we also get an ornament. So I can't wait to see this new collection and I don't know if they're going to use Merch Pass for this or not. This Mulan Castle was not through Merch Pass this was a regular purchase through shop disney so we'll see what happens with the following castle release and that's it you guys let me know in the comments down below if you are collecting any of the items from the disney castle collection let me know what your thoughts are on the mulan pin and the difference in the price between the two previous pins we had you know 30 dollars versus 20 dollars and as usual if you love the things that i talk about definitely subscribe comment like and hit that notification bell so that you can keep on geeking out with me 